Now, today's developers need the right tools to be able to work outside the office. And it's not just working from home, it's working from anywhere. Your tools should not be part of the heavy lifting of IT. They should enable you to move fast and get the job done, reliably and securely. But as our infrastructure is changing and the way systems are being built is changing radically because of the cloud, we need to update our tools as well. And many of us do not want to be tied to our laptops for developing. And as such, our engineers have become hooked on Amazon workspaces. Actually, an interesting story is that one of my colleagues had a laptop crash. But without easy access to centralized IT help desk, he was forced to move to workspace as a temporary solution. But he's so happy now, he will not go back. Now, it's typically thought of as a business productivity tool. But it is also ideal for development from anywhere. And you can make multiple workspace configurations with everything set up and ready to go, like your IDE of choice and environment and code and things like that. So this is the equivalent of your cloud developer desktop. Makes it easy to work wherever you are and from any type of device. But AWS Cloud9 is really the next generation of this experience. Browser-based, limits bandwidth needs, and improves responsiveness. If you work on multiple different projects, you can have different development environments for each of those. And it is used by many teams at Amazon as an alternative to cloud desktops. Cloud9 has the concept of builders, a series of tasks that build your system, runners, how and where you want to run your system, and debuggers. What was extremely useful in Cloud9 is that you can share what you're doing live with someone else, which enables, for example, remote pair programming. But because it's a cloud IDE with live sharing features, we saw a significant increase in the usage of Cloud9. One particular area where Cloud9 has become extremely popular is in education. For example, Harvard's online CS50 course uses Cloud9 for teaching computer science. The AWS console and other dashboards are great for exploring services and seeing what they can do. But if you are as old as me, I prefer to use a terminal for common tasks. But they also have a bunch of not so great scripts to then set up the environment that I need for any particular task at hand. AWS Cloud Shell, another way where we're meeting developers where they are and giving them the best of both worlds. It is a new service built into the AWS console that gives you access to a Linux terminal inside your browser by just clicking on an icon. And when you start a new Cloud Shell session, it is automatically pre-configured to have the same API permissions as you do in your console. This means you don't have to manage multiple profiles or API credentials for different dev test and production environments, like you would normally have if you would work in a terminal. With these credentials being automatically forwarded, it is simple to start a new Cloud Cell session and use the pre-installed AWS tools right away. The AWS CLI, Elastic Container Service CLI, and the Serverless Application Model CLI are all standard inside Cloud Shell. And Cloud Shell is not just an AWS command line interface though, it is a fully featured shell environment based on Linux 2 and includes several other common CLI tools pre-installed, like Python and Node, Bash, PowerShell, Vim, Git, and so on. And just like any other regular shell environment, you can install whichever additional tool you need to get the job done. Yeah, my, one of my favorites would be the CDK. Unlike a regular environment though, changes to the operating system don't persist between sessions, so you don't need to worry about cleaning up anything if you accidentally break the environment. However, you do have up to one gig of persistent storage in your home directory at no cost. So you can keep your data, even if you forget to download it or copy it to S3 when you finish working. Cloud Shell continues our trend in making the right tools available whenever you need them from wherever you are. And we hope you find it a valuable addition to your process of building software and managing infrastructure.